Welcome to the sixth tutorial in this course. Now that we have the extent layers and other layers that will make up the base map, we need the thematic layers. The thematic layers of our map will be our own creation, the layers that will distinguish it from a regular general map. In our case, these will be the public transport routes and the bike route. We can create different types of layers, lines, the actual routes, points, the bus stops, cycle parkings, etc. Create a new layer, like in the previous lesson, lesson 4. This time it will be a line with the same coordinate system. It will show the bus routes. You can add a new column this time, call it bus number. The type can be text or whole number. You will write here what the bus route number is. I recommend it to be a text, since bus numbers may contain letters also. You can choose any length desired, 10 should be enough. Click on add to fields list, you will see it now in the fields list. If you want to remove a field, simply click it and click remove field. To digitize a line, left click on the map where the bus line begins, then left click at the first curve the road takes, then at the next, and so on until the last vertex, when you need to do a right click or a double click. Make a polyline that follows as closely as possible the bus routes and or bike routes. Where can you get the data about bus lanes from? Well, you can use an already existing map made by the Authority for Public Transport in your city or use Google Maps. They have data about bus transports in some cities or you can even collect the data yourself. This is obviously easier in a small town rather than in a metropolis. In theory, these maps should be publicly available and you should be able to copy the data. Make sure you are not copying data from a copyrighted map without the owner's permission. Then you can create a new shapefile for bike lanes. You can add attributes if you want, since some some bike lanes are bidirectional, some share a bus lane, some are in the park, others on the carriageway. I will add a description column, type text, size 80. You may want to create a layer for the parks or vegetation area as well, to distinguish it from the built or residential areas. It is exactly the same as making the polygon layer with the area of interest. You may add a column for the name of the park. Similar to this, you can create other layers that will help the users of the map navigate easier through the city, like touristic buildings, monuments, shopping areas, cinemas, sports stadiums and many others. Add a shapefile for bus stops. Again, you can add attributes like bus name. Start adding points wherever there is a bus stop. This might be a long process. However, you can find this data already digitized in an OpenStreetMap layer, for example the OpenStreetMap layer called Transport of type point. You can use other layers from OpenStreetMap for representation orientation purposes. Places.shp of type point has information about neighborhood names. Traffic has information about bike stands. POIS has information about bike rental. Also the roads layer has lines which are classified as cycleway, so you can use more data from here instead of manually collecting it. Simply clip these layers by the area of interest. Let's say you found some data that you need from one of the layers. How do you only select that data? Well, there are two ways. Let's say you want to select only the bus stops from the transport layer from OpenStreetMap. You can create a search by opening the attributes table, click select features using an expression button. This search is similar with an SQL search. The text of the search has has to be field name equals field value. To type the field name, you can simply type the name if you know it, else you can select it from the fields and values list. Double click on the F class. We get all the possible values of this column by clicking all unique values and then double click bus stop. Now you need to export this selection by right clicking the layer, save as, make sure save only selected feature is ticked, browse for a path, give it a name and click ok. Now you will have a layer that will contain only the bus stops from the OpenStreetMap data. You can also do a clip action on this selection if you forgot to do the clip in the previous step. Make sure you have the use only selected features active. In the next tutorial, I will show you the second way of selecting data. Thank you for watching this tutorial. All the best. Goodbye.